All right, so we got all kinds of businesses down here. That's a good cigar shop We're down in the Bishop Arts area. It's called uh, the Cigar Art, that's what it's called. I'm just going to be quiet and kind of let you absorb it all here. That corner right there with the black awnings is Hattie's. It's one of the first nice restaurant, nicer restaurants down here. Hattie's has great food. The only bad thing is they don't change their menu that often, but it's darn good food. Trying to get a run over here. <clears throat> so you got like all kinds of boutique and stuff down here. Obviously this is super busy right now. During the weekend it's still pretty busy regardless. So all these people are buying uh, Tickets, I guess, which probably mean like tickets for drinks, I would assume. I'm not going to stand in that line. Everybody's wearing their black and white like they just stepped out, stepped out of Paris. Yeah, they're all getting uh, wine glasses. So they can all have drinks. By the way, if you're down in the Bishop Arts area, <clears throat> kind of here on the back side is a really, really great French food restaurant. Let's take a walk down there, show you where it is. It's called Boulevardier, and it is fantastic. Really, really good. Great cocktails, great wine list, good food. So you can see this is kind of an old historic, kind of old, just old neighborhood that had this little tiny downtown area, you could say, that just grew and grew and grew and all of a sudden it's something you could say. It's pretty cool, it's a lot of fun down here.
on a uh, piece of pie. I think it's called Pie Emporium. Yeah, it's called Pie Emporium. And it is great. It's a fine pies for fine folk. Pie Emporium. That is a really cool place. Anyway. Uh, new place got built right here. I've seen it online. I haven't been down here in a while. Yeah, exactly. They did a great job of it. I guess they're gonna have two or three or four businesses involved there and make a little tiny center, so to say. Um, no, man, I gotta go work. Someone did a great job. So, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. They did a fantastic job. <laughs> wow. New development. Some people might say this is a horrible concept. Some people might say this is great. Just depends on who you ask. I will say one thing, it is hipster central. More and more activity. This place, if I'm thinking of the right one, <clears throat> looking around. Um, yeah, this is it. So this, get a name right there. ACAO is probably a better way to pronounce that. Uh, it's probably one of the top 10 or 15 restaurants in Dallas. Just happens to be down here in Oak Cliff. A guy named David Uger and Jennifer Uger own it. Uh, David Uger is a chef in Dallas, and he and his wife own Lucia, which is one of the best uh, Italian places, if not the best Italian place in Dallas. David has a passion for curing meats. So we opened up this place um, as a uh, cured meat place. And uh, it is, I haven't eaten here, but I will bet you my left leg it is really, really good. So give that a shot if you're down in the Bishop Arts area. It might take a month to get a reservation. Lucia has like a two or three month waiting list. They're both small, but let me tell you, the guy knows what he's doing. David used to be a uh, chef at a fantastic restaurant called uh, Lola, that's where he got known, and just as a, a really good guy too. I've already seen like three or four people I know.
And here we are back at the start again.